Hello, class of 2023. Wow, we made it. This is the date that most of us back in 2019 first lodged in our minds as the year we would be graduates. Class of 2023. The date sounded so cool. It felt almost futuristic. They warned us, our teachers, our parents, the classes that went before us, they told us that these four years would fly by. And we knew somewhere deep down inside they were right, but you simply cannot know how fast it goes until you're the one on the stage at the end of high school, looking back over the four years we felt like would sometimes never end. But they have come to an end, and though we have worked hard, we cannot take all the credit. All the students gathered here tonight have many, many people to thank for the love and support they poured into each of our lives. Always, first and foremost, the teachers. They gave and continue to give of their talents and energy every day for the students. We will move on from this day, but the teachers, they stay behind, ushering in the next generation of students to the same great finish line they have so faithfully brought us to. So to each and every one of you teachers, thank you. Our thanks cannot end here though, for the faculty workers at the school, our parents and guardians, our Annas and Uppas, the amazing people who ran the cafeteria each day so that every student's brain would have the energy it needed to do amazing things like algebra and proving two triangles are indeed congruent. To each and every one of you, we owe the deepest thanks. Thank you so much. As an extension student, I was very blessed to take several classes here at Gnome Belts. This was an amazing opportunity. It gave me a front row seat to be able to witness all the amazing people here at Gnome Belts and to see just how much they give of themselves. So I want to thank the teachers and the students who welcomed me as a homeschooler to be able to come and learn from some of the best and join, though for a short time, a class that wasn't my own. It was a privilege to join classes like personal finance taught by Mr. Huseman, or should I say how to invest in stocks. I have truly enjoyed being part of ski team and singing with Miss Hansen in the choir last semester. These are experiences I value and they, have, they were made possible by each of you here at Gnome Belt. Thank you. I also want to thank Ms. Ventress, the Extension student's amazing teacher of records, for the tireless hours she worked to make our plans and dreams a reality. Ms. Ventress, thank you for the support you have given to the homeschooling community and for all you have done to make my high school experience a rich and profitable one. We are so blessed to have you. I want to thank my family and friends who have lifted me up in the hardest of times and who have encouraged me in the best of times. Lastly, to the most incredible of teachers and a truly wonderful friend, my mom. You have given me the world. Your love for learning has inspired me. No history topic was too small, no math problem too big for you to make it worth learning. You took the biggest mountains of high school and made them climbable for me. Long hours preparing for tests. The exhausting papers where my inspiration continually ran dry. You were right there beside me, giving me fresh inspiration. You opened my eyes to new ideas and have given me the deep love for words I now hold. Every step of the way, you were right there, helping me press through and telling me when it was all right to take a break. I know that I will spend the rest of my life with profound gratitude for all you have given me. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Well, class of 2023, what a four years it has been. There have been so many moments that we will never forget, and many more we probably will try to. But all these ups and downs, everything we have gone through, it has made us who we are today. Many of you have memories with friends and teachers at school, but for me, my memories are with my own special class, my siblings. I have so many wonderful memories with my amazing brothers and sisters. Noah, some of my favorite memories with you are traveling with ski team and reading history together. Also, thank you for practically making me a professional wrestler after showing, or should I say practicing, all your wrestling moves on me. 
Kate, writing songs with you and playing the piano together are some of my happiest memories. You will always be the best. Wesley, thank you for helping me get into archery and ptarmigan hunting. It's been a blast. And Caleb, you are definitely our class mascot. When we were all running on a low 6 to 7%, you were Mr. 55. Cheerful and wholehearted, you could always bring a smile to our faces. Thank you, guys. Dad, thank you for the wonderful memories, like hunting and fishing and hiking and learning to love the outdoors, and also for all the incredible instruction and correction that you have given me over the years, helping to make me who I am today. Thank you. Looking back over these years, there were also many moments of struggle, growing, going through a pandemic not being the least. In fact, many of the students here got a little taste of what homeschooling is like, having to deal with the pandemic. Some of us faced loss, others disappointment. Whatever our struggles have been, no matter how hard, they were valuable. They taught us lessons that have shaped our lives. Now, when I was doing some research on how to present a good valedictorian address, they said this last part should be inspirational. But words are so forgettable. Chances are, a few years from now, you won't even remember who gave this speech. But there is one form of words that is much less forgettable, and that is story form. Since I'm a writer and words are kind of my thing, I'm going to tell you a short story. Maybe, if nothing else, this will stick with you. A man found a cocoon of a butterfly. One day, a small opening appeared. He sat and watched the butterfly for several hours as it struggled to force its body through that little hole until it suddenly stopped making any progress and looked like it was stuck. So the man decided to help the butterfly. He took a pair of scissors and snipped off parts of the remaining cocoon. The butterfly then emerged easily, although it had a swollen body and small legs and shriveled wings. The man didn't think anything of it, and he sat there waiting for the wings to enlarge to support the butterfly. But that never happened. The butterfly spent the rest of its life with small, shriveled wings, crawling around, unable to fly. Despite the kind heart of the man, he didn't understand that the restricting cocoon and the struggle needed to get out of that small hole. It was God's way of forcing, forcing fluid from the body of the butterfly into its wings to make it strong enough to fly. The moral of this story is that our struggles in life develop our strengths, and without struggles, we will never grow, and we won't get stronger. So it's important for us to tackle the challenges in life that come our way. Our struggles grow us, but the truth is, we are not butterflies. And sometimes we find ourselves in situations we can't make it out of alone. We need someone who is always there, who can understand us completely and offer us real help. The only person I know who is faithful like this is Jesus. He did not fail me once through high school. He gave me the strength to get through every test, every long night, every moment I thought life would be just too much. I gave it all to Jesus, all my struggles, and without fail, he got me through every single one. He is faithful. None of our futures will be perfect. In fact, they will be really hard and full of bumps and bruises and struggles. But because Jesus is with me, I know I will make it to the end of my story all right. Do you have that confidence? Maybe you do. Maybe it's in your friends, your family, maybe even in yourself. But one day, when all those things fail you, remember my words and see for yourself if Jesus is not faithful. Your parents can attest to this, that life gets rough. So don't wait till you're drowning to reach out to the one who loves you most, who can save you. Tomorrow, chapter two begins, but that's not till tomorrow. So tonight, let's celebrate. Let's remember all we have come through. There is a lot to be grateful for. And don't forget that just because we are done with high school, it doesn't mean we're done growing. The struggles ahead of us will grow us even more. So let's not be afraid of them. Let's welcome them, overcome them, and grow. Class of 2023, congratulations and well done.